what's up beautiful people it's Cinderella. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video from the officer datum and it's titled sony hosting has midlife crisis on air over systemic racism mm -hmm. interesting i'm excited to check this one out to hear what i've got to say let's check it out so for her to casually well, what said the, what about the voting rights right. act what about jim crow laws right. i mean i don't the anti-lynching law. Uh, we're not on oh, the other racist right. country, but I am the only person on my father's side of the family who has enjoyed full civil rights yeah. in the history of my family, and I am 55 years old. So this is not something that happened 600 years ago, okay? And we're still in the fight of our lives to save the soul of this country from the scourge of racism. That is the truth. Oh, Jesus Sonny hosted, listen to this clip. They will not go for it, and they're not going to go for a Nikki Haley. Well, there's so many parts of, of that aspect of the racism thing that bother me. It bothers me because she's not stupid. Mm -hmm. She's not ignorant. Yes, she is. Uh, she's not racist, mm -hmm. but she's pandering yeah. to a base. She reminds me of a human version of those wind socks that you see in front of used car dealerships. Yes. She just... She, she will bend with to it, whichever right? way the yeah. wind blows. Good. And she, you know, very casually said about uh, all men are created equal. That did not include uh, African Americans, did not include women. She said, we fixed it along the way. As if it was a typo that they said, you know what? Let's Let me fix, fix that. Let me cross that out and put, no. It took a civil war. 700,000 almost Americans died in that civil war. You no, know what no, the no, equivalent no, no, no. of 700,000 Americans stop, are today? Stop this, stop this woman. Stop this woman. <laughs> you, you, you see how convenient she said it, it's 700,000 Americans? No, no, lady. It took 700,000. White people died so black people can be free, if, you, if that's what you want to say. It's funny and convict that they bring up the civil war and they say black people were in bondage. It took a war for black people to be free. Oh, oh really? Who died in that war? Mm -hmm. White people. So you're talking about America is so bad and full of racism that white people are the ones died to free black people. Black people didn't die to free black people. White people died <laughs> to free black people. Exactly. And white people helped black people become free. Where do you think Harriet Tubman, where, where, uh, who was she working with? She was, she was with Aladdin on, on, a, on, a red, on a red carpet? You think she went to La La Land? Good white people helped in the Underground Railroad to free black people from the South. These people, the disingenuous nature of racism, it, it, it like makes me question everything that they tell us in history. Mm -hmm. I took Africana studies in college. We learned about slavery, we learned about all of these different things. People are so disingenuous when they act like the entire country was a country of slavery. It was the South that had legalized slavery in the Confederacy, not the North. The Union never had slaves. And then, so half of the country didn't never, never had slaves. The other half had slaves. And mm. then the war was fought in the, in, the, in the part of the country that never had slaves won the war. And is now leading, I would argue, leading the country. The Union won and the Union's way is where we see the country today. So the, the, the white people that never had slaves defeated the white people that had slaves, and y'all still acting as if the legacy of this country is rooted in slavery. If you want to argue the truth, the legacy of the country is in the Union. Mm. Because the Union won. And therefore, the victorious country that ended up spreading from the north to the south and conquering the entire United States of America was the group of people who never had slaves. Okay, and then they don't never want to tell you about black people that had slaves. If you go back and look at the history of slavery, absolutely true, absolutely true. Is the crazy mindset, and is the fact that they continuously want to make it all about skin color. Okay, they talk about the people who fought the war. Who were the exact same people who fought the war? And exactly true, it was white people. White people died to free black people, but these exact same people are still not satisfied i can't even imagine that you still have to debate and talk about these things it's um 
I just don't get. How? Is it that every time with election or whatnot, they have to bring some certain victimhood or racism or whatever to sell to people to buy? If racism, slavery, America was built on slavery. Like, and she's out here calling her age. Is the fact that she has to even mention her age in this. 55 but again they still have to spell everything out there are other parts of the world that also engaged in this slavery thing but no they've moved past it but i just can't imagine or i just can't understand why the people or some group of people in america don't want to move past it they want to make it look like oh it was only in america that slavery ever happened fun fact is it happened in every part of the world but there are people that have moved far past gone you don't even hear them to uh, talk about it that some people can't even remember if slavery ever happened people are moving on fine i can't even imagine that america First world country will still be debating and talking about slavery that happened how many years ago yeah I am shocked and surprised but yeah let's continue if you go back and look at the history of slavery you start to realize that it had minimal to do with race mm -hmm. and everything to do with economic status exactly and white people that came over here didn't have black people as slaves because they hated black people it's because they had the, the access to, to cheap labor. Mm -hmm. And who gave them the cheap labor? Other black people did. Bam. It's convenient to go back and stop at the white man when it comes to slavery. However, the black man sold their own people all over the world. Bam. Two thirds, I believe, of the, of the slaves were in South America. Mm -hmm. A smaller portion of slaves went to North America where we live today, call it what we consider the United States of America today. But don't don't stop at the white man as if they created slavery and they, they enslaved black people. The black man had them slaved up first. Mm -hmm. And knowing that they and knowing that most of them weren't gonna make it over that water. And they sold it to the white man anyway, knowing them black people gonna die in, uh, under that boat. They the one help put them on the boat. They know them black people weren't gonna make it. But the white man is the problem. Exactly. The problem. Let me play the rest of the, that view clip and then we'll go from there. Roll the clip. 700,000 almost Americans died in that civil war. You know what oh, the equivalent geez. of 700,000 Americans are today? Almost 7 million Americans. That would be the equivalent today. It took years and years of women marching and fighting to get equality. It wasn't until a little over women 100 didn't years die in ago the civil war. that the 18th Amendment was ratified. So for her to casually well, said... The, what about the Voting Rights right. Act? What about Jim Crow laws? Right. I mean, I don't... The anti-lynching law. Well, we're not as the other racist hey. country, but oh, I am the only person on my father's side of the family who has enjoyed full civil rights yeah. in the history of my family, and I am 55 years old. So this is not something that happened 600 years ago, okay? So, and we're I, still in the fight of our lives to save the soul of this country <laughs> oh, from the scourge Jesus. of racism. Nice. That is the truth. Really? You know, these these bees are, are on there saying they're, they're racist and racist. You're on a show that pays you millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Let's walk through the racism there. Who's racist in this situation? The producer? The, the, the owner of the show? Mm -hmm. The investors into the show? Who's the racist people that put, that put you black woman up on there and let you talk all that stupid stuff and pay you millions to do it? Exactly. Like, like, let's walk through where the racist people are at. Oh, we're going to go back 70 years ago. We're going to go back 200 years ago. Jim Crow was Democrats. Y'all voted for Jim Crow Democrats. That's what y'all voted for. The Democrat Party was the party of Jim Crow. And you sit here today and you talk about racism, but you're elevating a party that carried the racism in this country. And, and let me say this. Even in the Jim Crow South, this is where I think I just really wish I had a historian that had the credentials that could come on here and, and, and prove everything that I'm saying to be right. Just like today, 
And I, I swear it's the, it's the same soup warmed over. Today you have racist people in America. You have mm -hmm. racist people everywhere. And they come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. It's racist exactly. black people as much as racist white people. Those are anomalies. The average experience of a person that lives in America has is nowhere near connected to slave to racism. That's not a that's not a, a everyday experience. And even in the Jim Crow South, you know, this is the funny thing about Jim Crow South. If you listen to black people who had who had sins, when Martin Luther King was alive, he was very unpopular. Mm. And there were black people that wanted to be separated because they had their own schools. They had when, when Harriet Tubman, I mean, uh, um, Rosa Parks was riding on the back of a white bus. Black people had their own bus line, so that they, they staged a conflict on the white bus instead of them actually utilizing their own bus company and making it big enough to overthrow the white bus line or for them to have to have a bus line that, that they could use on their own. But no, they, they, they went through the process of staging an incident. It, this, is what, this, is what was, this is what was happening and why a lot of black people didn't really like Martin Luther King because Martin Luther King was wanting to be with the white man. He was trying to force the white man to accept black people. And a lot of black people didn't want that. They wanted to just be left alone. They didn't want to go to school with white people. They just mm. wanted to be able to go to their schools and have the, have access to teach their children what they needed to know. And, but Martin Luther King was on something else. And the crazy thing is, I would argue Martin Luther King wasn't that popular amongst black people. Wasn't as popular as he is today. And as popular as he is today, black people don't even believe what he said. Continue your character, not the color of your skin, was his dream. But he having a nightmare right now because black people have <laughs> completely forgot about him. They talk mm -hmm. about him, they take the day off, they go barbecue on his birthday and celebrate in Black History Month, which is the shortest month of the year. <laughs> and they, they forget everything that the man died for. They play his dream every day. Martin Luther King had a dream. <laughs> well, fool, you, now, he got, now you turn his dream into a nightmare because y'all still talking about race and not content. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't even get with the way they keep saying it. Like, come on. Um, slavery had nothing to do with color of your skin. It was, it's true. People are not excited about what happened in slave, with, with slavery. People learned from their lesson and people moved on. Black enslaved black, white enslaved, enslaved white, white enslaved black, black enslaved white. So what, what is exactly is the problem? Did people always make it to want to criticize some particular group of people okay many people um, said oh the white man came on to um africa and captured a particular village and kidnapped the black people from there and s took them to other parts of the world some took to america some took to, to, to um britain or france and um brazil and all of that they were scattered all, all around that was a narrative that we were told, but it was a lie. Blacks actually sold their brothers. But of course, these people or these same people, they don't want to listen to the fact. They don't want to believe the fact. They always want it to be a victim, victimized mindsets. Is the fact that these people have forgotten that there are some people that are terrible towards other people. But it doesn't mean that it is everybody that is that way or that is terrible. But no, it has to be, oh, because somebody threw, um, pour, pour water on you, therefore everybody would pour water on you. Doesn't mean that way, no. I don't understand this type of mindset where everything has to be your, the color of your skin. Oh, you have to be victimized. Systemic racism. Okay, she's out here talking about racism. But she is working for... I, I mean, she's actually talking about racism that um, white people, what not, what not. But she's working for the exact same white man that is racist towards a black person. And she's getting paid millions of dollars. I mean, the, all of them on the panel, on the table, talking about racism. But they are working for the exact same white man. I mean, Anna, that is even talking about, even cajoling, talking about racism. She was, wasn't she an immigrant herself? 
or has Anna forgotten that she was once an immigrant in the country or immigrant in America, but yet she still believe or believe that America is racist? Wow. And she's out here working for the exact same white man, getting paid millions of dollars. Or have they forgotten? The other one is saying she's a black person, but she's working for a white man, and white man is paying her millions of dollars. She should have as well said, no, she don't want to work for a white man. She wants to work for um, a black person, a black man, and see how that goes. But of course, they always want to be paid, vi uh, be victims. I don't even understand how people like this, who are even well to do, are the ones constantly called talking about how the system is rigged against them, how their great grandparents or whatever suffered slavery or whatnot. But yes, they suffered slavery, whatever. But you are enjoying the rape and the benefit. Do you have to constantly live and talk and content constantly make that your story? It's only in America. Racism will sell. You go to the market, you buy racism and you sell it for a higher price. Victimhood, go to the market, buy it, sell it on a high price and people will buy it just don't make sense and this is what they continuously do every time and they vote the exact same people but it's not a problem but yeah um this was interesting to hear what they've got to say we can go on and on to continuously talking about this topic but i really love your honest contribution to this because um now she's out here saying oh america is racist america is not racist today if we're talking about the America of 2024, no, it's not racist. I mean, we've got tons of people in America today. If America is so racist, but yet you want people, are, we see, we, we see, get influx of people running and coming into America to live the American dream. I mean, how is that even possible for them to come? People who are not even American, regardless of their skin color, how do they come to the place if white people are racist? towards them would america open their doors or open their arms to immigrants to come into the country no but of course that is what they want many people to believe that is what they want people to believe and people are actually buying into this crazy mindset just don't make sense and by immigrants when i talk about immigrants i'm talking about the ones that come into america legally but yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below i'm sure tons of people have got different opinion regarding this and i really love your honest contribution to this you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video